Hi, I'm Brian Ierson. I'm one of the trainers at the Computer Workshop. In today's tutorial, I figured we would take a look at Word, and we're going to look specifically at the properties of the file. So as you can see, I have an open Word document here, and I'm going to go to the File tab. So I'm just going to click on the File tab, and I'm going to look at the Info section here on the left, and you can see we have our properties over here on the right. At the bottom of that, you can see there's a little show all properties because right now I don't see very many. So I might want to see all of them and I'm just going to click on that to expand it and now I can see all of the properties that are standard and available to each and every Word file. At the top, I can see the size of my file, I can see the number of pages, I can see the word count, editing time, and then I can see here title tags, comments, I can see what template I'm using, I can see the status of my document, categories, subjects, company. So I'm going to start by coming back up here and choosing to add in a title tag. So the title, while this isn't necessarily the same as the file name, it can be pretty much almost the exact same thing. So I'm going to go ahead here and just put in a title for this. I'm just going to be very innocuous here, and this is my title, and that is the title of this document. Now, my tags, these are going to be keywords, and keywords that people will use or think of when they're trying to find my file. So what are the things that this document is about, my, my subjects, if you would? So this is about properties, comma, uh, tutorial, comma, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. So I'm going to add in keywords that I think people would consider using when they're running a search to find my file. So these are going to be things that help that file get found a little easier when people are searching. As far as the comments go, I can use this as a running history or a dialogue about the creation of this document. So I might have a situation where somebody has come in and asked me to make some edits, and I'm going to note it here in my comments. So once I go through and I make those corrections, I'll write in there that this person on this date asked me to make these changes. These changes were made and okayed by this person on this date. So that at any time in the future, when somebody comes in and asks what's going on with this, I can always refer back to the comments. But here, this is my personal take on this. You can use this in any way that you find convenient and practical. Now I can see the document template here and the status. I'm going to jump up here to the category. So in the category is going to be another thing that is going to help people when they are searching for my files. So in this case, I'm going to put this in as the category of tutorials. I can put in the subject. So this would be, again, the properties tutorial. And I definitely want to go ahead here and just put in my company. So, the computer workshop, hopefully I didn't mess that spelling up there with a fat finger, nope, we're good to go. So now that I've added all of these properties, I can continue to just do a quick save as. Now I can add and modify these at any time, so it's not really important that I do them right at the beginning or at any given specific time, but just that I put them in. And am I going to use this for every single document that I create? More than likely, no. But for those really important documents, big reports, um, things of that nature, yeah, I'm going to put this in. That way it'll help in the future when people are searching for those. So I'm going to just do a quick save as and then I will just tell it I'm going to in this case save it on my desktop and I'm going to give it a name here and I'm just going to go ahead and call this tutorial 
and save. And I'm going to replace the existing one. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and build my file, work on it, develop it. If I find I need more things, I can always come back here into my file tab. I can always jump back over here to the info section and I can make any modifications that I need. You will notice at the top that there is a properties drop down which will allow you to access the advanced properties. So this basically is going to open up a new window where you can actually see the general information about this. You can look at the summary and this is going to be probably a little bit more comfortable for people to fill in because it's more of a shall we say familiar field set of prompts. I can look at the statistics about the document, I can look at contents, and I can even create my own custom properties if necessary. Now we're not going to get into that in this tutorial so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out of this window and that's going to end our little tutorial for the time being so if you liked what you just saw please go ahead and subscribe to our channel um, we do put out new videos on a weekly basis so we're always putting out new information and Hopefully you'll come back and find things that are very useful and interesting. So please subscribe to our channel. And until next time, take care.